So this one most of you will recognize. It's been covered by a lot of people. I think the original, I think it's by Curtis Mayfield. I'm not sure, but it's called People Get Ready. So if, uh, if you know it and you want to sing along with me, with us, please do. People get ready, there's a train of coming. and sing till earth and heaven do ring ring with the harmonies of liberty those are some words from an old uh, Negro spiritual and did you know that on December 31st 1862 a weary and hopeful people waited for the ringing of the bells all over the United States that era People were in church waiting. It was called the first watch night service because they were watching for President Lincoln to announce that next morning on January 1st, the Emancipation Proclamation. So they stayed up all night waiting and hoping, not knowing for sure if it would happen. But on that January 1st morning, there was cause for great celebration as the bells rang out first in the, the capital in Washington and then all throughout the whole country, the word spread, the slaves are emancipated. They are free. Free at last. Well, we know that the struggle for freedom isn't over yet. And the bells of freedom need to keep ringing. So today 
In our tradition of many years now, we gather to the ringing of the gong that comes from uh, my experience of being in Japan and how all the people in Japan go to the temple on that New Year's Eve and uh, first day of the year and hear the sounding of 108 gongs, which are the 108 sins or obscurations being dispelled. So we can look at it as the blockages to freedom being dispelled. And this will come a little bit later in our service that we'll be able to take in this vibration of freedom. So I want to welcome you all here this morning. I want to welcome the newcomers. How many are here for the first time? Nice to see you. Glad you're here. Um, we want you to know that when you come to Unity in Ashland, we see you. Uh, all of us here look around at one another and just uh, be acknowledging that when we come here, we are recognized and seen with an inner eye of truth. We see you in the spiritual likeness of God or goddess. You know that? When you're sitting here, that you are being seen that way by one another? That you are a unique emanation of divine embodiment? And that we see you in your unfolding beauty and magic and splendor and generosity and love? So today, we get to celebrate each of our very existences. We get to celebrate our infinite potential. And I just want you to know that I appreciate so much you being here, and I'm sure everyone else appreciates it too, because as we behold one another in all of our glory like this, the vibration of that affects all of us. <coughs> so welcome to unity. And um, I'd like you to stand right now and... Uh, just stand in the presence of being here on this holy ground on this special day, beginning day of the new year. And um, and go ahead and look around the room for a minute. And realize that the only reason that we're here is to fall in love with all these beautiful beings in this room. It's a transpersonal kind of love, don't get me wrong. <laughs> we are bearing witness to a love, and that's why we're here. We can feel a quickening of this love when we walk in the room, and we've had people say that to us, that there's a vortex here of energy that we can silently feel right now. And we want to acknowledge today that Spirit has put us together for a reason, for a purpose. And it's a beautiful purpose. And it's a purpose that overflows from the deepest place in us into great expressions in our lives. I just want to acknowledge that we here today are a powerful force. Yeah. And that we're touching into something powerful by being here collectively. And so I'd like you to Extend your hand of greeting, or if you know if you have a cold or something, just bow to something. A little bit longer, a few more words of proclamation I'd like us to make together. Let's proclaim together. You can repeat these few sentences after me. My heart knows its oneness. My heart knows its oneness. My soul desires deep connection. My soul desires deep connection. So I give myself permission to feel, deal, and heal. I give myself permission to feel, deal, and heal. I transform all energy of separation with integration. I transform all energy of separation with integration. Otherness simply costs too much. Otherness simply costs too much, right? I will not waste my precious energy on regrets or resentment. I will not waste my precious energy on regrets or resentment. My life is a beacon of light that stands for vision and possibility. My life is a beacon of light that stands for vision and possibility. And the last one is, with love and compassion, I bring forth the beloved community. With love and compassion, I bring forth the beloved community. 
thank you for vibrating with me on those words, and so it is. And now let's go into our beautiful next song. So if you want to sit, you can, but you might want to remain standing. <laughs> Okay, so do what you feel, obviously. But you might want to sit down because this chant kind of builds. Oh, okay. And at some point soon you might want to stand and move to it. Um, it's a very familiar one. Um, sweet surrender, I'm opening up. And sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one. I am opening, I am opening, and then sometimes we'll sing it in the we. We are opening. And then there's another verse that some of you may know. It's not as familiar. It's, we are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly higher. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly higher. So we'll also sing that. And we are rising up. So we're opening and rising up.
musicians keep playing this in the background a little bit, I want you to close your eyes and feel the fire inside of you and the mitochondria of your cells. The fire of spirit, the fire of life, the fire of goodness in this universe. That it is rising up. It is rising up. Nothing can keep it down. No enemy for forming any weapons against us shall prosper, says in the scriptures. Something inside of us is continually rising up. And I'd like you, everyone has their eyes closed, just to take your hands right now and feel the energy rising up from your heart. And you can raise your hands a little bit above your head if you want to, but just have bodily prayer of honoring the fact that spirit is within you. And something within you is rising up. Rising up. Nothing can keep this down. Not a sickness. Not a lack of any kind. Not even death. Love is stronger than death. And there is something rising up. Rising up in you today. Towards a new horizon. Towards greater love on this planet, greater community, of the beloved community, something in all of us, all over the planet is rising up. And if you agree with me, shout out, amen. 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 Stop your feet. <laughs> Karen has a beautiful poem to read for us. Thank you, Karen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is called On Being a Person by William Stafford. Be a person here and now. Stand by the river, invoke the isles. Invoke winter, then spring. Let any season that wants to come here make its own call. After that sound goes away, wait. A slow, vibrational bubble rises through the earth and begins to include the sky, stars, all space. Even outracing, expanding thought. Come back. Hear the little sound again. Suddenly this dream you are having matches everyone's dream and the result is the world. <laughs> if a different call came, there wouldn't be any world or you or the river or the owls calling. Nothing is accidental. Again, nothing is accidental. How you stand here is important. How you listen for the next things to happen. How you breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Who you are, how you listen is important to our world right now. Very important. This next song, I love this next song. And, um, it's a reminder that the way we see one another, not just our close ones that we know and love dearly, but how we see people we run into on the street, how we see people that we see on the news, or how we see people who are demonstrating, or how we see people who are following Trump, or how we see all these other people out there is important. That we behold them with the eyes of love. So this next song is all I ask of you, is to remember with love. So why don't you draw to mind as we sing this song people that you want to shower this love upon, people that are maybe estranged from you and your family, or people that uh, you don't feel good about, or 
people that you've had some judgments about. But let's, let's spread this energy, knowing that what we say and what we think and what we breathe creates realities. <laughs> And I understand that means God is love, lover, and we love it. And as you're singing this, you know, whatever your comfort level is, you can think of somebody as Norma was mentioning in your life. You could sing it to yourself. If you're comfortable, you can look at someone and sing to them. Because the chorus is, all I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. So whatever feels comfortable to you. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Do you see me? 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 Do you see
whatever reason, God put the two of you here together today, looking at each other this way, for you to speak this love to one another. You may never see this person again, or you may bump into them all the time, or they may be your best friend, I don't know. But I want you to make a vow right now, and that vow is that whenever you think about this person, over the next week, the next period of time, that you are going to hold the highest possibility for this being. That you're holding the truth about them. That they are a loving being full of all potential. And you will not let anyone tell you anything else but that truth about them. You are going to defend what you see right now, no matter what anybody ever says about this person. <laughs> you're not going to go downstairs into the muck of human condition. And you're going to know that you have at least one other person holding this truth about you. You are a great person. You are a beautiful being here to bring joy to this world. And you have got a lot to give. And I want you to hold this truth for yourself now. Tag, you're it. <laughs> it's your time to shine. Let's, let's turn now back to yourself and close our eyes for a minute. And let's seal the deal here with a prayer. Great Spirit, you hold us so close in your heart. You hold us in a perfect spiritual ideal of who we are. We have to bracket our opinions of ourselves and others and set them aside when we come into this vibrational field right now, here, right now, this higher frequency, because we are about to lift off into a field of thankfulness and appreciation of who we are in these lives that we've been given. I love my life. Let's say it together. I love my life because it is the life of God in me. I feel the oneness of God in me. I feel the life that there is in this life of God within me. I love the presence. I love the presence of God within me. And I am one with it. Say your name and then say, I am one with God. I, Norma, am one with God. Say your name and say, I am one with all goodness. I, Norma, am one with all goodness. I am one. In the sense of unity, the word is spoken for each and every one of us, O oh God, that we may be free today to love ourselves as you love us. <coughs> because we are the ones being called out in 2017 to be great, to be healthy, to be wise, to be loved and loving, to be prosperous, to be fulfilled in our creative work, and to be incredibly happy. The good and the true and the beautiful are going to be taking over our lives. And this body, bodily temple that we have is going to express your mind in the clarity of our minds. It's going to express your emotion spirit in the purity of our emotions. And in our physical body, the divine temple, temple of the Holy One is going to be expressed in divine order. Do you agree with me? Mm -hmm. yes. oh. Because where two or more agree, we step out of time and we are in the presence of the eternal, of the absolute of this consciousness that spreads throughout this whole universe creating goodness wherever it goes. We are stepping into the realm of all goodness, of miracles. Mm -hmm. And this same word is spoken for every person who's not here with us today but who's in our hearts on our prayer list. Yeah. So we speak this word right now. We say the name of the person in our hearts and we say they are one with God. They are one with all goodness. This person, say their name and say, they are one with all healing. They are one with all and all wholeness. <laughs> and all good things for their life. God, we know this. And this is the year of our growing up, of our leaping up, of our elevating into being who we really are and what we really know. Mm -hmm. That's what we're being called to do. Your truth has a vibration to it, God. It's got a taste 
a feeling tone, and we are eating it, and we are drinking it, and we are feeling it. The feeling tone of Godness is in us. And we are opening our senses to see and feel and hear and touch your vibration of divine goodness flowing in us and in this world. We are vibrating with a higher consciousness this year, oh God. Because we have places to go and people to see and things to do. And we are vibing, God, into high gear with you. Put your hands up. of mind and I intend peace of heart. I love my life. It is the life of God and so it is. Somebody scream about it. and we've got to set our intention so let our light shine that when others see us they are going to see something bright and glowing and flowing out of us like a holy breath of fire we're going to be walking around feeling this holiness in us this holy aliveness because we've got to re-engineer and re-imagine our world it's a big job <laughs> And we cannot give our minds over to any worst case scenarios anymore. Our minds and our eyes and our hearts are only for seeing good and the best in others. And the good you are feeling right now, this aliveness, it's an invitation happening right now on our planet. I know it is all over our planet. People are feeling this right now. We are changing our relationship to time. And we are removing those filters that have been on our minds and across our eyes. And we are stepping into seeing an infinite reality right now. And it's happening. We are peeking under the curtain of time. And the fantasies are up. We are lifting that curtain and it's happening right now. And we're stepping into the presence of the almighty, the all-powerful, the maker of good in this universe. All problems exist in time, you know, and solutions are in time, too. Character defects are in time, but we are stepping into the eternal. We are stepping into the qualities of God in the eternal. So we're stepping beyond our character problems, beyond our psychological machinations, beyond all of the ways that we have thought in the past, and we are stepping, stepping into the power of now, like Eckhart Tolle talked about. Mm -hmm. It's happening. Are you with me right here, mm -hmm. right now, in it? Yes. Because the peace on planet Earth is now. Absolute abundance for all beings is now. <laughs> Snapping our fingers is what we're going to be doing. Changes are going to be happening in the twinkling of an eye. I don't know how. It's not in our rational minds to know how. But something is afoot and it's magic. And it's infinite and it's in every moment and it's now. And we've known that it's coming and it's here. The wave bears witness to the ocean. Just as we bear witness to the fact that we are timeless, eternal beings. With all infinite power available to us. So the years that the locusts have eaten are going to be re are going to be changed now, and miracles are going to start happening. Mm -hmm. So in this moment, with me, just breathe it in. Everything I've just said, breathe it in, <coughs> because this is the eternal, present truth. And just remember that you've got one person sitting right next to you that knows the truth about you. And who will defend you against anything that anybody says to the contrary. And you'll do the same for them. So this year we are free to be wild and free to be.
my favorite songs, and we're going to take the offering while we're doing that. And the song is The Water is Wide, I Cannot Cross Over. Um, and so it's a little bit the opposite of what I just said. You know? uh, but it's an old song that has a heartfelt, uh, heartfelt feeling to it that um, gives you hope. It's got that sense of we're in this together and we're not going to let each other down. We're going to row this boat, the two of us, and we're going to make it to the other shore. So as we sing this beautiful old song together, just let the comfort of it wash over you as if you're on this ocean, this ocean that we're the waves and the ocean. We're, we're going there. We're going to make it there. So thank you for giving generously and our offering for our offering today. This beloved uh, traditional English folk song, the, the interpretation of the verses, um, Nancy Cassidy, and then I wrote a verse too. The water is away.
this love We rub our hands together and bless our offering by saying divine love. Divine love.